times have you assumed some things that you can probably work on or you can do and save a lot hello welcome back to my youtube channel today i want to talk about minimizing expenses and i want to share some five frugal living tips that we assume on day-to-day -day life or that we usually assume and if we stop assuming them we can save a lot let's do this so the first one is switching off the rights most of the time we assume switching off the rights and we tend to leave the rights on maybe you're going for work you leave the rights on and uh, they usually spend or they're going to use a lot of electricity so it's advisable you switch off your rights especially and uh, for those people who usually have a fridge if you have a fridge and you don't have anything that is going to spoil or you have not stored things that can spoil if the electricity is off then it's good you just switch off the rights and you're going to save a lot especially when you come to electricity bill save 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 so that is my first point switching off the rights if they're not on use or if you're not using them or you there's nobody who is using them then switch them off and save that electricity bill that is the first one the second one is um, shopping when you're shopping make sure you shop in bulk it is good to write a shopping list that you know you can be able to shop in bulk or you can uh, you, you can do a shopping with, where you're going to buy in bulk or in wholesale, not in retail, so that you can save a lot. When you buy things in wholesale, you tend to save a lot of money. And if you're buying in supermarkets, mostly, it's good to have a shopping card where you get some points after buying whatever you're buying, that is, after buying your shopping for the whole month or there are some people even who shop for three months and that is so good because they are able to shop in bulk if you are shopping in a supermarket it's advisable you get a shopping card where they are going to uh, every time you shop you're going to get some points which you can at, uh, at a certain time redeem and buy or get more commodities or get commodities of your choice which are going to be equivalent to the number of the bonga points or the points that you're going to get uh, in that card. I've seen it work for me. I, I had a card and I used to shop with it. And uh, it usually, uh, it's, uh, in some point I got something or I got, uh, I, I got to buy something that I really needed, but I had not budgeted for it. So the points did a good job and it bought for me that thing. It is so good. That's the second, uh, the second uh, frugal living tip. Shop in bulk. Avoid retail or buying things in retail. Buy in a wholesale, or if you can be able to buy in a supermarket, just get a shopping card. That's the second one. The third thing, when you're cooking, it's good to. Uh, I usually put a boiling pot, a boiling pot of water, or a boiling, uh, a. a, a, a uh, instead of uh, putting the reed on top of my food, I put some uh, pot with some water. So what it does is uh, when the food is boiling, uh, the food tends to uh, get the steam or to steam the pot. And then the water on top of the pot is going to boil as the food is, uh, is uh, cooking. Uh, and uh, I noticed that especially when I'm cooking meat, I don't have to put some water on that meat because uh, it's going to to get the steam or to be steamed or to yeah to be steamed and it, it does not burn especially when you're cooking food that requires some or is going to need you to put some water so it's going to use that steam and it's not going to burn so with that you can also you, you can use that water to maybe to bathe for those who don't yeah for those who use hot water it's not a yeah you can use that water elsewhere you can even drink the water it's safe to drink because it has boiled you can be able to use that water elsewhere 
instead of uh, using another uh, or using another time to boil the water so that one saves the the amount of energy that you're going to use the heat energy that you're going to use when cooking that's a frugal tip that i use most of the time that's the third one then the fourth one when you're purchasing uh when you're purchasing something maybe you have budgeted uh to buy a certain asset or even an investment it is good to buy in cash in cash i mean instead of buying that thing in high purchase it is good you put that or you be a uh, persistent have a lot of persistence save for that money and buy it in cash instead of using a uh, higher purchase paying little by little by little so you tend up using or you end up using a lot of money or paying it in a very expensive way instead of buying it in cash so you can trust yourself and save it for yourself or you save elsewhere in cash and then you go get that thing when your cash is enough go and get that thing and this one is good especially for those people who are investing yeah i've seen people paying pieces of land using a uh, higher purchase that is paying little by little if you can i'm talking of if you can and if you want to save you tend up using a uh, buying lesser amount because if you find yourself saving uh, like 30,000 in buying that asset, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money you can save, save, save. So if you trust yourself, you can save it by yourself and then go buy it in cash. That is when buying assets. Uh, the last frugal tip, the fifth one, is um, avoid money transfer transactions. Or when transacting money, avoid the transaction fees. Uh, right now it's good to use the till numbers because they are free because if you tend up uh, doing or buying a lot of things and uh, you you use all those transaction fees you find out that you uh, you avoid saving so it's good to save and use the till numbers and it's also advisable for those people who have businesses just go get those till numbers get the till number in your business that people it usually encourages people to buy things because if i come to your shop i want to buy something yet i have my money in, uh, in my phone it's going to be easier for me to buy that thing it's not a must i have cash but when i come and then you tell me to go withdraw elsewhere you because most of uh, the people do not have the uh, the transaction agencies so you tell a person or a customer go and withdraw on the other shop and then you come and buy it usually discourages a customer so it is customer friendly just get the tills and you're going to have a lot of customers buying through the tills so once you buy through the till you save those uh sh those few pennies that are going to be on top so you, do you don't get the transaction fees yeah so those are my five frugal driving tips that are going to help us minimize the expenses. Just make sure that you put some, uh, you, you use them or you try and use them, especially the transaction one. So avoid using those transaction fees, pay through the tills. Switch off the electricity when not in use. And this one also applies on the, even the water bills. If it's not on use, just put it off. You can uh, boil some water or boil some water as well as when you are cooking. So that one is going to save the energy. Avoid using buying through the fourth one is avoid uh, buying using high purchase. You can save and buy in cash. Just trust yourself with money. That is your money. You can avoid using uh, avoid using uh, avoid uh, using higher purchase. Buy in cash. And lastly buy in bulk or get a shopping cart it's going to help you a lot while saving those are the five living frugal tips that i use thank you so much for watching my video see you when you see me again in my next video